let's look at PropTherms, DarwinX Zero and DarwinX Classic to see the differences between these three options to get funded. First of all, we need to understand the business model and how these businesses work. And remember that these are businesses and their aim is to make money. For the majority of online prop firms like FTMO, they want traders to lose. So you pay your $500 for a chance of 100K account and you take two challenges with the first generally 10% profit target with a 10% drawdown. And then the second challenge is to get a 5% profit with a 10% drawdown. But it's not that simple. If you read through the fine print of these prop firms, there's pages and pages of rules. And if you break one rule in the list of many, many rules that they have, then you lose your entire account. How these companies get you is they advertise a really high profit rate. So people see the 85 to 90% profit split and they see money in the eyes. But if you really investigate and see how many people actually get payout from them, it's about a 1% in the industry. Their marketing is very clever and people think that they will be wealthy within a couple of months, but for the majority of people, this is not the case. Generally speaking, they do have a cap of 400k max allocation. So if you are one of the few who are successful, they don't want you to be too successful. Moving to DarwinX Zero and DarwinX Classic, who are the same company. And their business model is to match up successful traders with investors. When you win, they win because they get a cut of the profits. So they want people to trade well. And I saw a really good interview of the founder of DarwinX and he said the main problem that they had to overcome was they had so much money from investors, but very, very few good traders, which is why they launched DarwinX Zero to make it more enticing for traders. With DarwinX Zero, this is a medium term strategy. So you're not going to be a millionaire in the next month or two months. First, we start off with their training stage, which takes about two weeks. From there, we move to DarwinX Silver, which is about a three month process. And you receive about 25K to 250K in funds every month if you meet their 75 ranking criteria. When you're trading with 25K to 250K per month, let's say you make about 1% to 4% per month. And then from that profits, you get 15% of that as money for your reward. That translates to approximately a few hundred dollars per month if I'm being conservative. And remember that there is fees involved in DarwinX Zero. So it costs $98 euros as a setup fee and then $38 monthly. So the money you get from the DarwinX Silver participation should cover your monthly costs and a little bit more. In DarwinX Silver, the magic number you need to aim for is 75. And the formula to get a rating of 75 is relatively easy. This is the calculator, which I will post a link to in the description below. And it's really handy. Uh, for this month, you've uh, made a loss 0.79%. However, in the past six months, if you've made a 22% with a maximum drawdown of a four, um, your rating will be 84 and you would have gotten about 35,000 euros. To understand the calculator a little bit better, let's take a look at my own DarwinX account. And you can see this one has not been going for uh, that long. It's been going since uh, about uh, July, so just over a month. And I've had a drawdown of 5.7% and it currently it is up at 0.16%. And currently my rating is not that high because I have made a pretty big drawdown and my profits right now isn't that high. So it's rating at a 55 number. It was a 60 yesterday, but I am in a little bit of a drawdown. So if we go to the rating calculator right here, it populates all these numbers for me. So my drawdown has been 5.07%. And uh, at 55, I'm not going to get any money this month. But if we increase that number a little bit, this tells me that if I make a return of 5.5% this month, then my rating will be 75 and then I will get a guaranteed allocation of 25,000. And I do want to point out that the um, amount that you need to make this month does need to be higher than the maximum drawdown recently. So at my current return of a point uh, 75%, I'm not going to get a allocation this month, but maybe next month I might get allocating. And let's go back to the calculator on the main page to see that. 
I've already populated this page with the my drawdown and that is currently at a 5.09%. If I managed to make a 7% in five months and this month I only made 1%, then my rating would be 75 and that would still give me um, allocation of a 25,000. Let's play around with these numbers a little bit more. Say we make a 12% in the past five months and we have a bad month and we lost a 1%. If we recalculate it, we're still getting an allocation of a 25,000 for that month. And when you receive that 25K allocation, you get to keep that for three months. And that is also cumulative. So if you get a rating of 75, three consecutive months, you can have a 25 plus 25 plus 25. So when you do have a losing streak, and we all have losing streaks sometimes, let's say for this month you lost 2% and you've lost your rating of 75, which means this month you will get nothing. But if you had 75 rating last month, you still have the money from last month to trade with. I do recommend playing around with this calculator to see your own statistics and what numbers you need to hit in order to get the guaranteed 75 rating. If we look at the leaderboard, it gives you a fair indication of how other people are doing and the potential for allocation. And here we're just looking at Darwin X Silver. We haven't even gotten to gold yet. In the first place, you've got this guy or gal here who has a 250K allocation for him. This person received an allocation of 25K in May, 65 in June, 25K in July. But that's first place. Let's go all the way down. Let's look at this person right here who has a 40K allocation. And this person received it in June. In July, he didn't do that well, so, but he still got his 40K allocation. After Darwin Silver, then you have a Darwin IA Gold. And here are the requirements, but I won't be going through this today because this is changing soon in the next couple of months to make it much easier for you to get funding. And then finally, you have investors, um, the, which is their third stage. Again, because we're not here, yet in my own personal journey of a Darwin. Well, I'll go through this in much more detail when I achieve that stage. And the last stage is a Darwin X Pro. And for all your trading and all the profits that you make, there is a 50% performance fee, which means you get 15% of the profits that you make. 15% might not sound much, but remember that there is no cap to the limit of investor capital that you can earn, unlike prop firms, which cap you at 400K. This is the leaderboard, and you can see the top trader here is controlling 35 million. The second top trader is contains um, 10 million in investor capital, and the third one is a 7 million. 15% of profits when you're trading with millions of dollars of capital is still a lot of money. The last system we have today is Darwin X Classic and very similar to Darwin X Zero, it's designed to get traders and investors together so they can both benefit from the mutual agreement. The beauty about Darwin X Classic is it is totally free as long as you have some money to put in a trading account and you slowly trade over time, you can still reap the benefits of getting investor capital if you're a good trader. And similar to Darwin X Zero, there is no limit to the amount of investor capital that you can receive. The algorithm to get the Magic 75 rating to get funded with the Darwin X Classic is much harder than it is with a Darwin X Zero because this one is a free tool. I have three accounts with Darwin X Classic and for my first account, you can see my rating is only at 43 and this account is about six, seven months old. And if I scroll down, you can see this first line here. So this indicates that this was originally with another broker and I imported the data into Darwin X the first line. And then the second line is where I started trading with this account on my Darwin X platform. And I estimate for me to reach the magic 75 number, it might take another six months to a year to reach it with this current strategy, which is not a grid, not a martingale strategy. It is a scalping strategy um, designed to take um, set stop loss and set stake, take profit. The second account I have with the Darwin X Classic is almost two months old. And this one I did not import from anywhere. I opened a brand new account with a Darwin X because they are also a broker and uh, my returns have been about 6% in the past month and a bit and my Darwin X score is only 12. So it might make me take me another year, two years for me to reach that magic 75 number. 
the third account I have with Darwin X Classic is still being set up. Right now, I've just gone and imported it from my other broker. This has a six month worth of history and you can see my um, rating is at 40. So the next step after I import it is to, is to migrate um, this history into a real account, fund it and then trade it. If we look at some of the people in the leaderboard, for example, this first place person who is managing $36 million in funding, it is a little bit off-putting because he, this person has been trading since uh, 2015. It does make you question if you can possibly catch up with him because if investors can choose whether they want to put their money in him or you who's just starting out, it's unlikely that you're going to receive any money from investors at this stage which is why in September or October of 2023, they are relaunching Darwin XIA Silver and Gold for Darwin X Classic. And I will, won't go through all the details, but pretty much it will make it easier for people to receive allocation and funding without waiting their two, three years for Darwin X Classic. The main uh, thing that I want to point out is that your account needs to have a minimum equity of $1,000. So this account that I have currently with $150 won't be able to participate. I need to put more money in to ensure the equity stays above $1,000. With Darwin X Zero and Darwin X Classic, it's okay to make the occasional mistake. You won't lose your entire account and forfeit all possible future funding because they have a risk engine which is designed to protect both yourself and the traders from huge fluctuations in equity. This does mean that you are limited to about a 10 in leverage. So don't be crazy trading, trying to aim for 50%, 40% per month. Look at one to 2% returns per month, and that should be fine. Thanks Darwin X for sponsoring this video. Hopefully it helps you choose whether Darwin X Zero or Darwin X Classic is better for your personal circumstances. Bye.